ChatGPT made growing on YouTube easier than ever before. I've researched and battle tested hundreds of different prompts in order to find the cheat codes of YouTube growth. These 53 YouTube growth prompts helped me get my channel to 4,000 subscribers in only one month, get monetized in 26 days, and I'm on my way to my first 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And the beautiful thing is, is that I've only uploaded seven times on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you just five of these 53 YouTube growth prompts so that you can see how my channel has went from nothing to a channel that has already within its first two months generated over $1,000. Now, if at any point in this video you want access to all of these prompts, you can purchase them using the link in the description. Now, this is where all of the fun begins. This is the interactive PDF that I have created with 53 ChatGPT prompts for YouTube growth. And when I say starting a channel and growing on YouTube has never been easier, I genuinely mean it. I attribute a lot of my channel's success to ChatGPT and all of these prompts. They help me create my video ideas, generate my video scripts, help me create descriptions, and so much more. So within this 62 page PDF with all of these prompts, you can scroll down to the table of contents. And since this PDF is interactive, if you see a section you like, you can just click into it and it will take you right to that category. Within each category, I even have a back to top button, so it'll take you back to the table of contents or that category section. Now, the thing I like most about these prompts is it kind of takes you through every single step of the process when dealing with your channel. Within each of these sections, there are a certain amount of prompts that I felt were necessary in order to guide you through the entire process. Starting with channel creation, these are prompts that are going to help you create your channel, find your niche, generate a profile picture and stuff like that. Now the point of this channel creation section was to help you generate and create your channel, find a high CPM niche as quick as possible because these are the steps that most people get held up on when wanting to start and grow on YouTube. So it's important to quickly get through these steps, but also do it in an efficient and effective manner using ChatGPT and these prompts that I've provided. And then it kind of continues to go down the list. You have a video creation section. This will help you create your videos. Next, you have a video optimization section. So what happens when the video is actually created and you need to upload it? Well, this section is going to help you optimize your videos in order to get seen on the search results and in suggested videos, stuff like that. This helps you get your videos out there. And these prompts aren't only for those trying to start a channel, it's also for those who want to grow and monetize their existing channels. So we have a monetization and growth category. This is going to help you monetize and grow your channel. Next, we have a community management section where you can manage and create an engaging community using these ChatGPT prompts. And the next section we have is sponsorship management, and this is going to help you easily manage and deal with sponsorships. Because even a channel of my size with only around 9,000 subscribers right now has sponsorship deals rolling in every day, and sometimes it can get a little stressful when you see blocks of messages. So some of these prompts are going to help you organize and better deal with these sponsorships. Now let's dive into five of these 53 prompts so you can start to see the power of applying these. So first we are going to look at a channel creation prompt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into channel creation. And now that I'm in the category of channel creation, what I can do is I can find which thing I need help with. Let's say that I found my niche. I found the key settings for that niche, but now I need a channel name. What I can do is I can click on channel name and what it's going to do is automatically pull you to the channel name page where it gives you a formula to apply to your own channel and it also gives you an example of what this might look like if used in action. Now it's as simple as copy and pasting the prompt into ChatGPT. And now that I'm in ChatGPT, what I can do is I can paste in this formula and then I can fill in the information that is within these brackets. Now this is great because this can be custom to any channel. So what I could do is something like this, create five unique, memorable, witty channel names for a YouTube channel dedicated to in order to fit the vibe, we are going to go with artificial intelligence. I think it's appropriate since my channel deals a lot with artificial intelligence. So now you can see some of the unique and witty names that ChatGPT is automatically going to create for you. And I have to tell you, some of these names are very cool. So now I can send it off. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate these five YouTube channel names. And it's also going to give a description of why it thinks that these names are powerful and unique. So as you can see, it's generated me these five awesome names. And the cool thing is, is these prompts are just starting points. So you can keep asking ChatGPT questions and you don't have to stop right after the formula. So let's say you don't like these and you want to make them a little bit more professional. So I'm going to type in, make these more professional and generate 10 more. And after asking it a simple question like that, now it's going to give a little bit more professional and 10 more variations. So now after suggesting to give me more names, it's actually generated me 15 more. And it's generated me 15 more instead of just 10 because I went make these more professional. So it made these names more professional and then it generated 10 more names. 
But guys, these names are actually very witty, they're very memorable, and they're great for YouTube channels. This takes the thinking out of the entire process. And when you're starting a YouTube channel, you want to remove as much friction as possible, and that is what ChatGPT is great for. You want to focus on the important things and the things that are actually going to move the needle rather than spending so much time focusing on your channel name when something like this ChatGPT prompt could do so. And within the channel creation section, there's nine or 10 more other things that you can easily get hung up on. But if you have ChatGPT on your side, it makes everything a breeze. Next, we are going to look into one of my favorite video creation prompts because of how specific it is and how well ChatGPT can do this. So what I'm going to do is hit video creation and it's automatically going to take me to page 16, which is category two video creation. This is definitely the largest section on the list. Because let's be real, video creation is one of the most important steps in a YouTube channel. You need to be able to create engaging and good videos, and that's what these prompts help you do. So for this specific example, I'm going to showcase the video ideas prompt. We're going to click into this, and it's automatically going to pull you to the video ideas tab. And once again, here you'll see the formula and an example. We're just going to copy the formula and bring it over to ChatGPT. Two ways to copy this, you can either highlight it, right click and hit copy, or you can highlight it and hit Control plus C on Windows or Command plus C on Mac. Now that we're over in ChatGPT, we can quickly paste in this prompt and now we can fill out our information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, generate me five YouTube video ideas for artificial intelligence to set me apart from the rest of the creators in this space. So now ChatGPT is going to find videos that will set my channel apart from the rest of the creators that are doing similar videos or similar content. And you can make this your niche section as niche as you want. I could say generate me five YouTube video ideas for ChatGPT to set me apart from the rest of the creators. I could do generate me five YouTube videos about mid journey, anything you want. I'm just going to leave it pretty broad in order to see what kind of videos it gives me. That way maybe I can have some future content planned out. We're going to send it off and now it's going to generate me the YouTube video ideas. And what I love most about using GPT-4 for these prompts is it's going to go above and beyond. Not only is it going to give you a title, but it's going to give you a description and that kind of gives you a video outline in a sense. So what it's done is it's completely generated me these five YouTube video ideas and this would have taken me a long time and a lot of research, a lot of looking up stuff on YouTube in order to find videos this good. The first one is AI in everyday life, hidden applications you never knew existed. That video sounds enticing. This is a video that I would definitely click on, and I'm assuming you might click on if you're watching this video right now. Ethics and AI, balancing progress with responsibility. Another great video idea. The art of AI, exploring machine-generated creativity. That's something that's taking over. If you're looking at something like Midjourney, maybe you could go in-depth on Midjourney and ChatGPT in this video. AI for a greener future, how artificial intelligence is tackling climate change. Next, we have AI Pioneers, and it says in-depth interviews with leading AI researchers and innovators. So this is great because collaborations kind of also help grow your channel. So I think that is setting this apart from other creators in the space. And again, this is just one of the video creation prompts. When you start to dive into all of those other prompts, it gets a lot more niche and the video ideas start becoming insane. I've used these for some of the videos on my own channel that have gotten thousands of views. So this is very cool. Next, we are going to dive into a video optimization prompt within this ebook. And these are what I actually love using most. If you go back and look at every single description on my YouTube channel, these were all generated by AI. So this is very powerful and I believe it plays a bigger factor than I can imagine when it comes to my YouTube videos doing so well. So we're going to navigate over to video optimization and we are going to go to video descriptions. And now we have this awesome formula one of my favorite formulas out of the 53 because this is just absolutely insane. I love how quickly this can get it done. I don't have to think, it's just plug and play. It's it's truly amazing. So I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to head over to ChatGPT. I'm going to paste this into ChatGPT. I'm going to get rid of that space. And now I'm going to replace this topic with one of the video ideas that we got generated from the last prompt. So now I've inserted that video that we got from the last prompt. AI in everyday life, hidden applications you never knew existed. And now it's going to generate me an SEO friendly description for my YouTube video, literally in seconds. And I've been doing YouTube for four years. I used to have to do a bunch of keyword research on the descriptions. They would take me like 30 to 45 minutes in order to generate an actually good description. But now ever since ChatGPT came out, my descriptions have gotten so much better and I've been getting them done literally 10 times faster. So I'm going to send this off 
Now it has typed out the title and it's going to go into a beautiful description for this YouTube video. So what it's done is it's generated this beautiful description. It's added emojis. GPT-4 has gotten a lot better at making this a little bit more engaging, adding emojis and a little bit more fun. But even GPT-3.5 has been a blessing to use on my YouTube channel. And just listen to how good this sounds and listen to how many keywords are being involved in the description. Unravel the secret world of artificial intelligence with our eye-opening video, AI in Everyday Life, uncovering hidden applications you never knew existed. Discover how AI is silently powering the tech and tools you use daily, transforming your life in ways you never imagined. And then it goes into everything that's talked about in this video. And honestly, it usually does a pretty good job and covers what I talk about. But if it says something that I don't talk about within the video, all I'll do is I'll delete it when I have it in YouTube and replace it with something I did talk about. But it gives you this beautiful template that you can use. And I will say that it does go a little bit overboard on the hashtags. Usually two hashtags does the trick, but it gives you a lot to choose from, which is nice. Next, we are going to dive into the monetization and growth prompts. And what I like most about this section is it's great for those just getting started who want to learn how to get monetized and develop strategies in order to be monetized. But it's also great for those who are already monetized and they want to start diversifying their revenue streams. So I'm going to scroll down to the monetization and growth section. I'm going to click that. And what we're going to do is hit this first one, monetization timeframe. And next I'm going to copy and paste this formula into ChatGPT. Now that it's in ChatGPT, I can read this prompt. What is the best strategy to monetize my YouTube channel based on its niche, which is niche within time frame? So what I'm going to do here is for niche, I'm going to enter artificial intelligence within time frame. So let's say six months. Usually that's a pretty good rule of thumb when you're trying to get monetized. Some people will say that it takes years, but with ChatGPT, it can get done in six months or less very easily. So now I'm going to send this off and what it's going to do is develop an entire channel strategy for this specific use case. I'm going to send it off and it's going to develop this strategy. And what it's done after about 30 seconds, since it's generated me 10 high quality strategies in order to help get my YouTube channel monetized. Now, what I highly encourage you to do when you do use these prompts is not only to just use the prompts for what they are, that's great, but what you can also do is dive a little deeper. If there's something you don't understand in the response that ChatGPT gives you, ask it to explain this, copy and paste what you don't understand, and send it off, and it will better explain that. These are just the foundations of what you can build in the questions that you can have answered. Next, we are going to dive into the community management section, and this section is very important for maintaining and fostering a positive, engaging community. Managing a community isn't something you really think about until you have to deal with it. And that's what I've found after I've seen this rapid growth using the other prompts is I need some help when it comes to managing my community. So now within the community management section, there are a lot of things, you know, you have people emailing you, you have people commenting on your videos. Um, you need to get the community engaged. You can create polls. There are no other contest ideas, but the one that we want to look at is social media posts. So this one is very neat. What you can do is ask ChatGPT to create a social media post for, then you can put Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever you want about my new YouTube video. And then you just paste in the video title and it curates an entire social media post based on the platform you picked. So that way you don't have to do any thinking when you're trying to promote your new video to that audience on your other platform. So I'm going to copy and paste this into ChatGPT. And now that we're over here, I'm going to paste it in. And for social media of choice, I'm just going to put Twitter. So create a social media post for Twitter about my new YouTube video. And I'm going to make up a video. So create a social media post for Twitter about my new YouTube video, six ways to grow your online presence with AI. And as I said earlier, do not be scared to add onto these prompts. It's not going to completely affect it if you add something that you want. So maybe I don't just want one social media post, but let's say I want 10. So instead of A, I could put something like five. Create five social media posts about my new YouTube video, six ways to grow your online presence with AI. And I can send it off and it's going to create me five social media posts so I can pick which one I want to post on my Twitter. I'm going to send it off and it's going to get to generating. So what it's done is it's generated me these five posts and I will say they are a little bit cheesy. And I think GPT-4 just discovered hashtags so it likes using it whenever it gets the chance. For example, ready to skyrocket your online presence? Check out my latest hashtag YouTube video. Uh, you know, you can just get rid of the hashtag. Obviously that doesn't really make sense to go there. I do like the hashtags it puts after and how it gives you inputs where you can put your link. 
And this kind of just eliminates that purpose to get that social media management company uh, in order to do your social media posts for you. You know, you have ChatGPT and that can be your social media management company. And with my community management props, I'm sure that you will have no problems engaging and managing a positive and happy community around your channel. And that's what it's all about is trying to bring people together. I want to thank you for watching this video. It's been a pleasure to have you. I've hoped that you've learned something from this video. And once again, if you do want to purchase these props, you can find the link in the description in order to do so. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.